Did you know that in Blender there's actually a feature that you can start walking in your 3D model? You can run, jump, and even fly just like a video game. And the cool thing about this feature is that you can make first person camera views for your animations. So let's get going. Okay, so if you want to uh, turn the uh, walk cycle mode, all you have to do is to press Shift tilt up. You can press W, A, S, and D so that it could move around. And there's also more settings. For example, uh, you can adjust your speed by scrolling up and down in your mouse. Uh, you can just go up with E and down with Q, just like that. You can also teleport using space in keyboard, just like that. I'm just gonna teleport, just like that. And and you can also hold Alt and move for you know slower move just like that. So one thing that you probably have realized is that we're not actually walking. We are levitating in the air. The thing that is missing is the gravity itself. So all we have to do to apply the gravity is to press Tab on keyboard, and then gravity is applied. So now I'm just walking in the mesh so i'm just gonna scroll down with my mouse to you know reduce the speed of my walking and there you go i'm just walking and the cool thing is that if you press v you can actually jump okay so now my jump height is actually a bit too much so if you want to reduce the, your jump height all you have to do is to press comma on keyboard just like that and now if i just jump you can see that it is reduced and if I want to increase it again all I have to do is to press uh, point in your keyboard just like that I'm just gonna increase that and there you go you can see that my the jump height is actually increased okay so that is basically it it is really easy and for example I just made something like this So yeah, let's just play this. Okay, shit. <laughs> if you move towards something, it will automatically move on it or just like climb on it. Also, if you want to uh, go out of this walk navigation mode, all you have to do is to left click on your mouse and yeah, you just got out of it. Okay, so there's also a fly mode in Blender. So I'm just gonna, from here, I'm just gonna go to this place and navigation. Now you can see the fly and walk navigation. So I'm just gonna enter the fly navigation mode and it is actually similar to walk navigation without gravity but if you just you know start moving it looks like a drone and it is actually really cool so if you want to make a drone shot uh, in your animation this is a really good option for you also if you go to edit preferences and from navigation in the fly and walk you can actually do other settings. For the first thing is about uh, the default. So, for example, when I press Shift tilde, my default is the walk mode. But you can also change it to fly mode as well. Now, there's a really cool setting that I'm gonna show you is the gravity. So, what does gravity do? Is that when I press Shift tilde, it is gonna automatically apply the gravity itself. So there's no need to press tab anymore. So I personally use this setting because mostly I use gravity as well. So you can check this part as well. There's also other settings like mouse sensitivity, teleport duration, walk speed, which I also told you that you can uh, change them while uh, you are in the mode as well. Also, you can change the the view height, for example, you can make it to 2 meters, you can make him taller, or even 
shorter and there's also a jump height option so that's it now this is a really cool um, feature in blender especially if you want to make a first person camera view for your animation but before that make sure to subscribe to my channel i upload stuff about blender all the time okay so for making uh, the first person view camera mode all you have to do is to first um, make a camera just like that and then I'm just gonna press zero so that I could just see my camera just like that okay now all you have to do is to just press shift tilde again and there you go so now the camera is also moving in the camera mode as well now if you want to apply keyframes to your camera all you have to do is to go to timeline and make sure the auto king is on now all you have to do is to press the space here so that the animation could start press zero here and shift tilde and there you go the simulation is on now we're just gonna do this just like that okay we're done we're gonna press left click and space here so the simulation is off now we're gonna just check out what happens you can see that the camera actually got the keyframes just like that so i'm just gonna come here and i'm just gonna render what we just made which is really cool so i'm just gonna do this also i'm just gonna use ev so that i could just render it really fast and there you go okay so this is the final result okay so if i missed anything about the walk navigation mode and the fly navigation mode i would be really thankful if you mention it in the comment section also if you are facing a problem with this tutorial let me know in the comments as well also don't forget to subscribe to my channel good luck